During the Franco-Prussian War, the Haitians openly showed their sympathy for France, which displeased Germany. After Germany prevailed in the war, Captain Carl Ferdinand Botch of the frigate Vineta arrived at Port-au-Prince on June 11, 1872, under the pretext of demanding the payment of 3,000 pounds on behalf of the newly founded German Empire. Without warning, Batch took possession of two Haitian men of war, which, not expecting such an aggression, were lying at anchor in the harbor and unable to retaliate. After presumably holding both ships hostage for some time, the Haitian government decided to give in to Batch's demands and paid the requested amount of money. The entire affair was very humiliating for Haiti and the Haitian people, but at least Haiti and Germany got along after, right? On September 21st, 1897, Haitian police were looking for one Dorleus Presume, who was accused of theft. They found him washing a coach in front of the central stables of Port-au-Prince. When they tried to arrest him, Presume resisted, which then caused his employer to come outside to see what the ruckus was about. And his employer was none other than Emile Luders. Luders, upon seeing his trusted employee being harassed by police, came to his defense which then resulted in both men getting arrested and sentenced to a month in prison. On October 17th, outraged at the arrest of one of his countrymen, the German diplomat for Haiti, Count Schwerin, demanded the immediate release of looters, as well as the removal of the judges and dismissal of the police officers involved in the case. Which was peculiar, since looters was actually born in Haiti to a German father and was not actually a citizen of the German Empire. Nonetheless, Haiti's president, Tiresias Simon Sam could smell trouble brewing, so he immediately released the looters, who then left the country for Germany on October 22nd of 1897. On December 6th of that same year, two German warships, the screw corvettes SMS Charlotte and SMS Stein, anchored in the harbor of Port-au-Prince without the usual salute. August Carl Thiele, the captain of the Charlotte, notified the Haitian government of an ultimatum they had. An ultimatum whose conditions were humiliating in both form and substance. It demands compensation of $20,000 for looters. It promised that looters could return home to Haiti. A letter of apology to the German government. That being the Kaiser, a 21-gun salute to the German flag, a reception for the German diplomat, and four hours to decide. President Sam was even asked to raise a white flag over the presidential palace. Of course, the Haitian people were furious and demanded that Sam not agree to these terms, but alas, to save his country from being completely obliterated. The white flag was raised and all the conditions were met, much to the horror of all the patriotic Haitians. This was truly one of the worst events in Haiti's history. Well, until right now, and they didn't even need Germans for it to get this bad.